NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. We got a taste of the sunshine yesterday and now we yes. can't get enough of it. More than happy to welcome it back today. Absolutely, it's very exciting. It's been such a cloudy stretch and uh, yesterday it was a nearly full blue sky. You mentioned it was a bluebird day um, today as well. So yesterday and today nearly full sunshine out there and Really moving forward this week, the next couple of days, we likely see a lot of the sun continuing as well. Something you can kind of forget about is with uh, the sun shining on you, especially this time of year, now that we're in early February, it can kind of uh, make you feel just a little bit warmer, even though temperatures are in the upper 20s right now. So that's something you can enjoy this afternoon as well. Looking across the region, you can see a blue and sunny sky in all of the locations uh, that are shown here with temperatures upper 20s to low 30s region wide right now. So some of our headlines, basically we see some sun each day moving forward this week all the way through Thursday. And then as we look ahead to uh, late Friday into Saturday, that time frame, a few showers make a return, mostly in the form of rain. There'll be more clouds that come back Friday and into the weekend as well. Also tracking a late week warm up. Highs will be rebounding into the 40s, especially Thursday and Friday and onward into the weekend. Here's a look on the storm tracker. There's a still a potent area of low pressure in the Canadian Maritimes, bringing some continued snow to places like Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. But high pressure is in control across the Great Lakes and Northeast, keeping us dry with lots of sun right now. There is an area of low pressure as well that's off to our south in the southeastern states. That'll be missing as well. So high pressure is really dominating things over the next few days here. And on and uh, right now on the storm tracker, you can see we have a mostly sunny sky. So lots of blue showing up to the sky, lots of sunshine as well. Checking in on our temperatures, seasonably cold right now, generally in the mid to upper 20s, 27 in Burlington, 28 for Montpelier, some low 30s showing up towards southern Vermont. So the rest of this afternoon, we have a mainly sunny sky, just a few passing clouds from time to time. Overnight tonight, clouds tend to thicken up, and the thought is tomorrow morning, some of us wake up to clouds, especially in the wider valleys, but they will fade away giving way to a partly to mostly sunny sky by midday and Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday night, here we go again with clouds starting to fill in and they'll be around heading into Wednesday morning, perhaps a little more widespread, but especially in valley locations. And then by midday and afternoon on Wednesday, those clouds will give way to a good amount of sunshine yet again. Heading into Wednesday night, clouds start to thicken up and we likely have a repeat on Thursday with clouds giving way to sun. So overall, it's a very quiet and dry stretch here across the mid-Atlantic states and right on up into the northeast. No precipitation expected all the way through Friday afternoon. We're also tracking that warm up this week as well. A ridge will be shifting from the central U.S. and off towards the east coast. So it gets into uh, the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, especially by late this week around the Thursday, Friday time frame and right on into the weekend. So that'll bring with it those milder temperatures. Here's a look at the five-day forecast. Mostly sunny this afternoon, seasonable. Temperatures in the upper 20s. Tomorrow we're right around 30 with clouds giving way to sun. Uh, clouds to sun as well on Wednesday with mid-30s for highs. And then check out Thursday, Friday and into the weekend highs in the 40s. Wouldn't be surprised if we popped a 50 in southern Vermont on Friday or Saturday. By Friday, more clouds come back with some evening showers. And then those will last into Saturday as well. Lauren?